Excuse me, sir, what are you doing? I'm helping you this okay, what are you, you know what that's called? What? Organizing. I'm organizing. That is, you know what's so cool about what you're doing right now? I was doing the same thing. I was putting things by the same category, so you said this is all music stuff? Yeah, this is the music bag, and this one is the Whoa, you're too buff, dude. This is the ninja bin, and this one is the bracelet. Well, I have a little this different bin. Can I show you what I'm thinking? Yeah. Okay, so I'm thinking... Yeah. yeah, but we're thinking the same thing. So look, right here, I have costumes for you that I have aside. I have, what is this guy called again? These toys? Oh, Ryan. Ryan toys I have here. I have arts and crafts there. I have all your bracelets. I might put these with arts and crafts over here, like that. No! Well, you can fix it later. I just need to put little piles, okay? And then over here, look, come here. And then over here is gonna be all your action heroes, right? There's all your kitchen stuff. I'm organizing it for you, but it's cool that you're thinking the same thing. Okay, I lost you. Oh yeah, 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 that goes in the kitchen. The bag, put it in the bag for now. We'll fix it later. The bag's right by your knee. Oh, that bag. Put it in there for now and I'll fix it. What the? Remember, remember, funny dog? Yeah. So that's what I'm doing today. Today I'm finally getting to organizing and it feels so good. Because I hate living in a mess. So right now it is a mess, but it's a good mess because I'm cleaning. So, like, this is the goal. To get this all cleared by today and to get my boxes, Christmas presents, and moving stuff, like new furniture and stuff, get all this stuff here cleared, here cleared. And I would also like to clear all this stuff. So it might be a really huge feat, but I think I can do it. I think I can do it. I might be slowing myself down in Taika's room, but I do not care. Papa comes today, he is in California shooting JK News. So he lands today at about four, so that gives me Four check hours. Up. That's not enough time. So I check, need a move. Check up. What do you mean check up? Oh, catch up. There you go. Okay, so I gotta get my ass moving. So so far, I've done a lot, but not really because I'm organizing. But once the organizing's check done, up. I am flying. I am flying. I am flying. Yeah, 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 right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I cannot believe how long it's been taking me to fucking organize Taika's bullshit. You see this bag right here? That's all broken toys, discontinued toys, like fucking Hot Wheels, this fucking, these tracks. I was thinking, I was like, Hot Wheels, you guys are fucking geniuses because the quality of the tracks are so shit. They get bent so easily. Once they get bent, you can't really assemble it. And then you don't remember what part goes to what part. And I remember Taika having this shit for years and he's never used it because it's just so fucking complicated. One, he's probably too small. Two, it's just it's a shitty quality toy. And we keep buying it because you can keep building on it and you can keep making the attachments more sophisticated and crazier. And I'm like, you motherfuckers are so fucking genius. Because once they get tweaked and bent, you gotta buy new ones. And then if they don't fit with each other, or like we rip it apart and it breaks, then you really gotta buy a whole new set of things. And I'm like, you son of a bitch. So you know what I did? You know what I fucking did? I threw it away. And you know why I threw it away? Because I don't want to deal with it anymore. And you know what's gonna happen next? Tag's gonna get really sad. He's gonna want more tracks. And guess what the fuck is gonna happen? Yep. I'm gonna buy his ass more tracks. <sighs> It's a vicious cycle, man, but like, do you want to hear your kid complaining? Or do you want to just get the fuck with drags? I'm just kidding. Tiger doesn't complain like that. Honestly, he doesn't. Um, I just thought it was for a funny bit, but if he does ask for them again, I probably will get it for him only because I feel like it exercises his creativity, even though he can't really get too creative because there's only fucking a certain amount of outlets and fucking little connectors that you can put. Whatever. I'm a mess, and I do accept that, and I do understand. But anyway, let me give you a little progress here. <sighs> doesn't look like much, but honestly, that, compared to what it looked like before, we've made so much progress. So there, all action figures. Here, all sorts of bullshit tools. There's all food. I don't think I'm going to leave that there. I don't know what's happening just yet. Just let me figure it out. Um, still, like, I'd like to put things in little category piles so that I know how to, like, organize it later. So... This is not a pile, this is just 
a fucking shit show. But wipe these all down, clean them. We got our cars, a little poppets and like fidgeters. Um, his little knickknack petty wax. I don't know how to label this other than knickknack petty wax. Empty a bunch of like animal toys. His fucking whack ass rock collection, instruments, uh, a ton of balls. But we'll get it moving. Like he's got weapons. He's got uh, remote control cars. He's got like crystals or whatever. He's got fake money. He's got bullets. He's got uh, costumes. Arts and crafts. That's just one room, yo. So I've emptied out three bins so far. This room was an absolute shit show. Made some progress here. We got some sports. That's trash. That isn't. That ain't even Tyka's. Uh, guns, balls, more fucking rocks, animals. Whoops, this should be here. Those guns need to go with those guns. Look at all these like. Cute ass little knickknacks this full house. Let me see. Whoops. So he's got balls in here. He's got a bunch of like, I don't know what those are, seeds? What's in there? We recycle all of our, um, all of our meal prep uh, containers. He's got Pokemon cards in here. He's so random. But I think it's so cute how he like, Likes to collect everything. Almost done with this bin. So, yay. Gonna get this out. Never even used this bed. It's that, like, crushed velvet blue bed frame. Uh, it was gonna go with the whole theme of our last house because I wanted our last house to look crazy and be, like, crazy themed and stuff. <sighs> but that didn't happen. As you guys know, we sold it. So, this bed doesn't fit this aesthetic anymore. Like, I want this new house to feel peaceful and serene and zen and calm and that right there just ain't it so we need to sell that all of this stuff right here will go in the garage the garage is a whole fucking other story but i think i can only do one room at a time is this technically two rooms because i'm like taking from here and putting it over there i don't know i'm still probably going to count it as one room if one room is complete but it's 3.30 right now. I think I started at 8 a.m. What the fuck? I wasted a lot of time. I think on my stories, I was like, let's listen to some music. And I was fucking putting up some music. So for sure, an hour gone. Um, then I had lunch with Bart's mom and she was talking to me for like about two hours about a lot of stuff. And uh, yeah, now I have to go pick up Bart from the airport. And let's see what the fuck he wants to do. I'm just kidding. No. My brother was actually supposed to stop by today. Coming to visit from California. One of the kids got sick. So we ain't doing that no more. So we actually are going to opt in to doing like this Christmas light. It's called Enchanted here in Vegas. And uh, we did it last year and it's the absolute best. I'm pretty stoked that I'm going to get to share it with Bart's mama. Because um, they don't really celebrate. And this is what she said, okay? So don't quote me on this. Quote her. But she says that they don't really celebrate Christmas. I don't know if it's now, if it's changed. Because just I feel like a lot of cultures are merging and shit. But she said they didn't celebrate Christmas in Taiwan when she was growing up. So a lot of these traditions and customs are so new to her. So for me to take her, to be able to have her experience all these lights tonight, I'm pretty stoked to see her reaction. She's such a just good vibe. Like She's just such positive energy. And she like shows so much appreciation and gratitude towards things. So, And she's like over the top. Like, the way she dresses, and she's, like, really bubbly and stuff. Like, that's her consistently. So, I'm pretty stoked. But, for now, let me shut my fucking gums so I can get, pick up my dude from the airport. So, I just picked this maniac from the airport, and he already started filming me for another vlog. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was already vlogging first. How do you, we were vlogging. What time did you start? I started uh, at 8 a.m. I started at 7.30. <laughs> so, 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 so I was vlogging and then mama came and picked me up and then so I'll end the vlog here and then we'll continue the vlog. Oh uh, mine? Vlog. You Fine. Do you want to see what a big meathead I am? What? <laughs>
Hey! That's, I'm hungry. Are you hungry? No, I have pizza for you at home. Ooh, <laughs> That's literally what I told your mom you were gonna say. She started laughing. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, watch when Bart comes home and he sees that we have pizza, he's gonna go, ooh. <laughs> but I already to told me. you. I already to told me. you, so then I I I missed it. Oh, uh, you don't know me. You're <laughs> but I fucking love Fairlife not sponsored. 30 oh, grams. Really good. I know it's watch. 30. You know why it's really good? Because it's a bunch of sugar? No, because it's You're chocolate hungry? milk. Yeah, but it doesn't have all the same shit as chocolate milk. Two point nope. five grams of fat. I know, but what I mean is it's chocolate milk. Because you know when you when you buy a protein shake, it's chocolate milk flavor. Yeah. This is Cho chocolate oh, milk. Oh right, right, so right. So right. I'm like, oh damn, this tastes like chocolate milk. I'm like, oh yeah, because I'm so used to drinking protein shakes. You Got know? it. And uh, it's thirty grams of protein, and it tastes delicious. It tastes almost like chocolate milk. <laughs> Got it, you son of a bitch. I can't wait to freaking. Snuggle with you tonight. Bikini. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go home. You're gonna eat. We're gonna get bundled up a little bit more, and then we're gonna go wa uh, walk through Enchanted. This kidney pies. Yeah. Hey. Papa is eating the most confusing meal ever: pepperoni pizza, cheese pizza, and then some leftover meat and potatoes. And unhealthy, unhealthy. Yeah. So there's unhealthy. Oh wait, wait. There's healthy, and then unhealthy. Yep. Welcome home, Papa. Thank you. You're delicious. Okay, show me what you have in your hand. A camera. When did you get that camera? Mm, I want my cousin Navani. Look, look. I got, got it for you Christmas oh, oh, oh. two years ago, but oh. now what are you doing? Oh my God, I'm gonna take that. You holding me. Okay, so you gonna take a picture of a picture? Yeah. Let's see what what you got. Bingo. Now Bingo. Now take a picture of me with my diapers and Papa's underwear. That's too close. Diapers. Yeah. Now I'm gonna take a picture of this. It's just your eyes. <laughs> Was it my eyes? Yeah. I took a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Say cheese. Say cheese. Bingo. Bingo. Yeah, yeah. Nice. As you can tell, we've been getting furniture in. Carpet. And I can't wait to um. To start. This guy's been tricking everyone. I can't wait to show you guys what it starts looking like. But first, I think I want to move one layer at a time. Get my life organized. Get. Everything out of boxes, put everything in even temporary uh, places, and then from there I can start bringing out the, the big guns. You know what I'm saying, <sighs> oh, I need help. I really do need help. I'm packing and organizing. All that shit really sucks. What is what? Let me see. Who's this? Me. <laughs> that guy. So we are here at Enchanted, and I'm so excited. Look at how beautiful that looks, Jesus. So pretty. Hey, What's going on? on, what's going on? Look at that! Hi, sir. No. Wow. Hello. Say hi. Monkey. Look at all that. Wow. You ready? Hey, hey, hey. You gotta follow. We're gonna go inside the maze. Go. In the front? No. Look, look, look. Wow, let's go. Look 
at this. Wow, this is gorgeous. Oh, Lord. What do you think, monkey? Wow. So pretty, huh? Yeah, it's very pretty. It's beautiful. I really just want to stop and find them. Yeah. So we have to help uh, no, find missing the toys the in this maze. What's magic? The fire hydrant? Yeah, <laughs> just because the thing was suspended, he thought it was magic. You go in the house. Here we go. Whoa, this is so pretty. Wow. Check out this Christmas tree. Holy moly! Holy crap, this is so beautiful. Look at all this. So damn pretty. I think I heard that there's like over a million light bulbs here. Like over a million. <laughs> get it, Tyga, get it, Tyga. <laughs> Maniac. <laughs> that's those are your jeans, dude. My jeans? <laughs> Tyga found a toy! Do not do that. So Taika got his little ice Whoa! coffee. I mean, hot coffee. And Zamboni. That's what it's called? I think so. It's called Zamboni. Stromboni. Stromboni. No, that's something else. Yeah. You're gonna ice skate? Sure. You look so grown up with a cup of coffee. You drinking coffee? Yeah. <laughs> that. Get your foot out of there! Put all these slippery man. <laughs> your freaking jeans. No, get your curly get your curly out of here. Get your curly get your curly um boat out of here. And all Tekka cares about oh, is yeah. this section where all the kids are playing. Tyka's first time skating! This is ice skating. The other one you were skiing. I used to ice skate. You used to ice skate? What? And his past life? I'm up with a baby, see? You're a baby? Is that why you're so good right now? Yeah, and then, and then you're holding me. That's what that hurts. Yeah? This is my second time. Yeah, I'm gonna let go. You ready? No! Trick. Well, hold it. Your, your feet have to stay forward, though. So Tyke is getting yeah. really brave and he's letting go. Okay, really you're gonna let go. Whoa! Good job. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Hey, good that's three job. Steps. That's really good. Right over there. Uh, on that side. The beginning? Yeah, in the beginning, correct. Good job, Mister. Look at this guy. Good job. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Good job! Lost him!
home. And Tyka took a bath. Papa took a bath. Mama hasn't taken a bath yet. And Tyka should be drinking his milk. Go, go, go. I got your bushy. I don't know where your monkey Cheeto is. It's, it's in the room. Where? I just drink it. Okay, drink your milk. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I was so lazy to turn the lights back on to close out this vlog that I'm standing next to my Christmas tree. So on that note, everybody, <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you had a wonderful time. In our silly little lives, put a big old smile on your face. Um, yeah, have a beautiful rest of your day. And um, let's see, what's something motivational I can tell you? I told this to my friend today. She's kind of going through a rough time. She actually lost her mama last week. Um, and she was talking about how, you know, surreal that all feels. Some days she's doing really well and other days it just hits her. And I told her, this is what I want to share with you guys. I told her that there's no yin without a yang, right? Like there's no positive without a negative. There's no light without darkness. The dope thing about that is both exist at the same time. It's just a matter of you understanding that they both exist at the same time and picking the one that you want to really focus on. And understanding that you have the power to fix, uh, and understanding that you have the power to focus on either one of them. So if there's a really shitty situation, there's always a silver lining. There's always, there's always a reason to find light in it. So for example, when my pap, my papa passed away, darkest, darkest time ever but I refuse to let that be the case yes it was still very painful yes I still even think about it till this day and he's been gone for almost seven years it's gonna be seven years this year and it doesn't feel like seven years it really feels like it just happened a few months ago but the silver lining and all that he didn't pass away in vain because when he passed I really got to see who the people that really care about me are, who the people that really care about my family, who cared about my papa, and all those relationships I made sure to nurture and, and nourish, and I still have them in my life today, and um, if it wasn't for my papa's passing, I wouldn't have those relationships, so again, with every dark moment in your life, always, always, always remember that there is a super light moment in there as well, you really have to seek it, you really have to figure it out and do it for yourself but the more you can practice and remember that you have the power to control this the, the outcome of the situation it might not be exactly what you wanted it to be but there's always 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 a lesson so seek out that lesson seek out the light it is always 100 percent there and it's always 100 percent in you don't forget that love you till next week bye bye tomorrow i mean